Where's the stupid intro? Uh, well, this is actually one of my Truck Tech UK forum videos that I do for the members. But seeing as Little Miss LCV has took the laptop to do some work with the IMI, you're stuck with me, my phone, my glasses, and we're going to head off now to Liverpool to a customer who's got a fuel fault with a DAF XF. So let's get out of here. So we've got a DAF Euro 6 with reported engine and exhaust system malfunctions on the dash. Let's get gel test plugged in and see what the fault codes are. Right, one OBD later and some communication. Let's look on gel test. We'll start with our uh, auto VIN identification of the vehicle. From here we can then select either Euro 6 or model year 17 onwards. This being a 66 plate, we'll be selecting Euro 6. With Euro 6 selected, we can then go into our engine ECU. With PCI selected, we can connect to the ECU and then go into fault code reading. Let's see what we're presented with today. P0087 fuel pressure sensor, valid data but below normal operating range is usually down to fuel pressure issues, not the fuel pressure sensor itself. And also we've got P2266 water and fuel sensor. What we can do now is use gel test to our advantage. We can look at our measurement selection and look at engine speed, for example, engine speed and also fuel pressure. relative fuel pressure. So from our measurement selection, we can see the measurement value has generated warnings. This warning most probably being that there's no fuel pressure. No fuel pressure. So we'll shut the truck off and tip the cab. Let's take these off. Always fun stretching these 10 foot. So this is our fuel system on MX30. Just found our issue with the water and fuel uh, sensor. The water and fuel sensor isn't actually plugged in. So that needs plugging back in. And we'll make a start on the strainer filter underneath the hand primer next to see if that's blocked. So we'll plug this back in, that always helps. I'll tell you what, we'll do this properly. So we'll start with this filter first. Now I've put the, uh, there's pressure there. Can you hear that? Well, this diesel doesn't look very diesel-y, does it? it? Looks rather black, if you ask me. Let's get this scores filter out of here. Well, that's a diesel bug if I've ever seen one. Look at that. That's your uh, low fuel pressure system issue. We'll get this cleaned off and uh, we'll get a fuel system treatment sorted for the customer, I think, to try and eradicate this diesel bug that is living between the diesel and water molecules in the fuel tank. So, five minutes with a tin of brake cleaner. I've managed to clean this out enough that it'll be serviceable again. You don't always have to spend 30 quid on a new one of these. We'll get this back in the engine now and see what our fuel pressure does. Let's get this cab down. See if she starts.
Have we got any warnings still? Nope, nothing. Let's see what happens. Let's go check gel test. So if we go back to our gauges in our measurement selection now, we've got six bar at idle, which is factory pressure. So what we'll do is we'll go into our fault codes and see what's active and what's inactive now. So if we go to fault code reading now, we'll read these to you, memory and PCI, and we'll see what's gone out now. So we fixed our water and fuel sensor issue. The only issue now we've got is the fuel pressure sensor, but I'm telling you now, the fuel pressure data is exactly as it should be. So we'll just clear all these faults and see if it goes out. So if we go back into fault code reading now, we have no fault code stored in the ECU memory. We start the truck. Looks good to me. We'll pull the VCI out and go and do a report for the customer that the fuel system needs to be treated with a diesel bug treatment. So what did you think? Simple enough to fix. I thought so as well. Anyway, hopefully things will go back to normal next week unless you actually want things to change to this sort of style of video. but. Whatever, let me know in the comments. Like if you haven't liked, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you next time. Welcome to Wrexham. <laughs>